Hey guys, this week on Ramshackle Homestead and Survival, we're gonna make a budget bed roll. Uh, we're gonna make an old school canvas bed roll out of some pretty common items you can find at any big box store and maybe even you might have laying around the house. So hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned. We're gonna show you how to make this canvas bed roll. To make this bed roll, you're only gonna need a few items and they're really inexpensive if you do have to buy them. You're gonna need a six by nine canvas drop cloth, some sort of foam padding, which is optional, but really nice. I would go with a clothes cell and like an old sleeping mat, something along those lines, and then something to sew with. And I'm gonna go with the polished hemp just because it's good, strong, natural material, and it kind of gives it that old timey vibe as well. So that's pretty much it. Tarp, pad, and some sort of heavy duty thread. The first thing we're gonna do is take our six foot by nine foot tarp. We're gonna fold it in thirds the nine foot way and that will give us three foot wide. So we'll be six by three foot. That's gonna accommodate most of us guys and gals. Uh, we're gonna sew around the edges. We're gonna sew the pocket up to where the foam will slide in the back. And then we will fold, sew about a third to two thirds of the way up depending on what you like, where you can get in and out. And you know, at this point, you need to figure out what you want to be to the right or to the left and how you get out and I'm right-handed so I guess I, I made mine and always have seemed like made mine to the right but it's just a real easy whip stitch all the way around you could do this with a sewing machine but it's about as easy and more durable I think to do it with the hemp and a just a good strong needle that you can buy also just about anywhere All right, so here's our tarp folded in threes. It's just basically a back and forth fold. Open ends pointing in opposite directions. Not much to it. So now what you wanna do is take your thread, leave this open and this open at the top. You wanna to sew all the way down, sewing this and this together like so, all the way around the edge. All the portions marked in red will be sewn with all three pieces being sewn together, down one side, across the bottom, and then to your liking up the opposite side. So the next thing we're gonna do, because we did not sew the top completely shut where our pocket is gonna be, and this is the point you can leave it open and stuff leaves in also, or just stuff your foam in and go with that or you know you could stuff the foam in and still leave it open where you could take dry leaves or grass or whatever you have handy and make it more padded but the foam now goes in the pocket this is the next seam to hold the pad in with only two pieces being sewn together as you can see on mine, I have sewn the ends shut. That is where our foam pocket is. It goes down around. And then I sewed a half stitch just across the middle, and that keeps my foam from shifting down. Now, you could put a full piece of foam in there, but I just like to have my hips and shoulders insulated and off the ground. You can see about how thick and padded that is definitely makes a difference so this is pretty well what your completed bed roll should look like so we're in it for a little less than 20 bucks pretty nice little camping option it uh, cheap easy anybody can make it 